guys, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay with a video on how to make a handle for your EVA foam shield. And this is my go-to method for how I do all of my shields. So let's begin. To first start off, you're gonna want CPVC pipes. And then you're going to want to take the pipe, put it in your hand, and then mark about an inch past either side of your hand holding it. This is so you have enough room for your handle. And then cut it. And when that is done, you're going to want to mark another half of inch on either side of the pipe's ends. And this will be a guideline for later. Next step is going to be using a heat gun as well as heat resistant gloves to heat up the ends of your CPVC pipe. Doing one side at a time, you'll heat it up and once the end is hot enough and looks like it's starting to move and wobble, you will then put it at the edge of your table and take a steel block and push it flat to the edge where your mark is. Then hold it in place until it cools. Then repeat the same process for the other side and make sure when doing the other side to have it in the same direction as your opposite end so both of them have the same flat direction. Next, you're gonna wanna use EVA foam. The thicker pieces of EVA foam, the better. And for me, I use 12 millimeter, cutting it into two rectangular shapes around two inches by two and a half to three, depending on how big your hand is. And in total, for one handle, you should have four of these rectangles. And once all your four pieces are cut, you will then apply contact cement glue to one side of each of these rectangles and wait for it to dry and attach them together. So now you should have two rectangle pieces. And for me personally, I like it when all the edges are flat and have a slight rounded edge. So I go back with a sanding drum and clean all of this up, but it's not a necessary process. Next, with your EVA foam flat on the table, you will take your end of the CPVC pipe and push it on the upper part of the foam. This will leave an indication on where we're going to put our slit into the foam. And you can do this by using an X-Acto knife. And you only need to go halfway through, you do not need to pierce it all the way to the other side of your foam. And for attaching this part, you will want to apply contact cement glue to both the inside of your foam and to the outer part of the CPVC pipe, and then attach them together. I recommend doing a test fit first to make sure it actually fits. And your shape should look something like this. And you can attach your piece like this to your shield, but this will not give you the best attachment because there is very little surface area. So what I like to do next is I will take this and put it on a sheet of two millimeter EVA foam and trace out where this would all sit and it should look like a longer rectangle. And you will then want to use contact cement glue and attach the two pieces together, which should give you a final shape like this. Then just trace it where you want it to sit on your shield. Again, attach it with contact cement glue and once dry, you can attach the two pieces together and you have your finished handle. I hope you found this video helpful for your next shield build or whatever you need a handle for, for your EVA foam project. And if you did, let me know in the comments, like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you for our next video. Much love guys.